G'day everyone and welcome back to the Sketch Up for Schools series on my channel. This video we are going to look at some exercises that are in a little book called Sketch Up Exercises. Uh, it is available on Amazon. It's got a whole bunch of little drawings that are engineering based that will help you develop your skills in Google SketchUp. This is the first exercise and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So our very first exercise is actually one that re involves a whole bunch of circles using guidelines uh, and things like that to put together a little sort of it's kind of like a washer type shape. It's just a random shape uh, that's in the book. It's the very start of the book and it will give you some really good skills. Now what we need to do is we need to start with a circle. So I'm going to select my circle tool. I'm going to come over to my canvas, my blank canvas, and you can see I have already saved my file. So as I'm going, it's going to auto save to make life a little bit easier. Now the circle I am going to draw for the big part is actually 80 millimeters in diameter. That means I need a circle with a radius of 40 millimeters. So I click once and let go and I drag and I'm going to type in the number 40 and as you can see it's in millimeters so it's really really small at the moment so I need to go all the way in so I'm going to zoom in I'm just going to use my scroll reel and point with my cursor to the circle and then I'm going to scroll around a little bit okay so we've done the base part of our circle we know now that that is going to be a 40 millimeter radius which gives us an 80 millimeter diameter. This little device here is actually going to be five millimeters thick. So I need to increase the height of my circle, five millimeters. And now I have kind of like a coin shape. Uh, and as you can see, because we're dealing with such small uh, shapes, it kind of looks like there's little straight lines going around, but if we zoom out a little bit, it starts to look more like a circle. Okay, now for my circle, I am actually going to need uh, to find two uh, perpendicular cross lines or guidelines. So I'm going to start with my pencil. I'm just going to pick a point and I'm going to click on the edge and I'm going to drag it across and I'm going to click on the other end. I'm going to make sure that little blue dot in the middle is there, representing the center point of my circle. So now we have our first part, our first guideline. Now this guideline will not stay there for the whole drawing, uh, but it will be there for quite a bit of the time. And then I'm going to go in uh, to the middle, or even I'm going to use my protractor. If I get my protractor out and pop it in the middle. Uh, there's the midpoint, I've popped my protract in the middle and I'm going to come out to the edge and then I'm going to create a perpendicular, right? there's even the word on the screen for you, perpendicular edge. So that gives me a guideline that is perpendicular to my first guideline. Okay, So that's a really good use of the protractor and gives you an exact 90 degree angle. I need to chuck some holes into this coin and a little cutout piece. Uh, so that's the next bit that we're going to be doing. Uh, so I need to go back to uh, my circle tool at some point. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do some measuring. Uh, so I'm going to measure from the center or from the guidelines uh, to see where I'm going to be working. So I come back down here where the protractor tool is and I come up to the uh, measuring tape because that is going to give me all my measurements. Now the first bit is uh, there's going to be a really big circle in the middle uh, and that is going to have a uh, 28 uh, millimeter well not a 28 millimeter uh, diameter so that gives me a 14 millimeter radius. 
So I'm actually going to put those in because that's going to be important later on. So I'm going to use my tape measure and type in the lengths I want and put in those. Now I could just put in the circle and deal with it, but those guidelines are actually going to be very, very useful later on. Then I need uh, some holes that are uh, 28 millimeters um, from the edge of that. All right, so I'm going to go uh, from here. I'm actually going to go one out from this way. Okay, and now I need the other 28 millimeter spots as well from the middle. And that's where the center of my three little circles are going to go. Okay. So our three little circles, they're going to be a 10 millimeter uh, diameter. Um, but we'll start with our big circle first. Go back to my circle tool. And I'm going to come out that 14 mil. And you can see it lines up with our guide, guide spots that we put in earlier. Now I'm going to do my three little circles. They're a diameter of 10, so I want a radius of 5. So I've got my three little circles in there. And then my last bit is I need to use the pencil tool because I need to take a chunk out of my circle. And I want to take the chunk from the guide spot. So I want to come out this way. And I want that to be perpendicular. So the easiest thing for me to do is to get rid of that one and use my protractor tool again. So I grab my protractor, I find my guide point if I can get there. Let's go down this one. Guide point. And I want it to be perpendicular to that line. So I've done that one. That's not going to be the right one. Let's do that one in a moment. So it doesn't want to work. It's okay, we'll get back to that one. And I'm going to do that intersection. Let's get rid of a couple of the other lines now. We might even need to go in a little bit. To get rid of some of these lines. Let's get back to our protractor. Found our guide point. So sometimes you may need to uh, zoom in to be able to get the bits that you need. Bring that out. And now we have all the bits that we need in there. I'm going to get rid of my guidelines. Some of the guidelines are harder to get rid of than others. Where did my circle go? Okay, so I've zoomed in. I'm going to get my protractor working. Get this guideline popped in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a line across here so that I can separate that circle out a little bit. 
because I kind of need that circle. Make sure that line's in. says so sometimes the guidelines can be hard to get rid of okay we'll leave that one there for now I'll zoom back out I'm going to use my push pull tool and I'm going to put the holes in so this one needs to be a hole so I'm going to click push down and then click on the edge same with this one, push down, click on the edge. All right, so you can see what's happening. Click, push down on the edge, and again for this bit. And you can see that that has come out. And my guideline there is still there, so I get rid of that. And that's our shape. Okay. Something that you might even use in, say, a metalwork class. Uh, as part of a project uh, that is this device this exercise hopefully this video has been informative and interesting uh, again you can give it some uh, paint and whatever to make it a little bit more uh, metallic like so let's have a look at our materials Look, so we've got some metal. So let's give it some metal. Right, so now it looks like a piece of metal. We can fill in all our surfaces. Last surface. And there we have it. There is our little exercise, as you can see. Now, hopefully this has been informative and interesting and you are able to do this exercise yourself. And good luck with that and see you in the next video.